Hi there and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to share with you my updated technique for removing objects from backgrounds in Photop. And this is something I've recently tweaked and it's just a really great combo of effects that work together to make it quick, easy and yeah, just super effective. So we're going to start off by creating a duplicate of the background layer. And this is because this particular technique, it has to be used on a flattened pixel layer so it won't work on a blank layer. So always work on a duplicate. And it combines a simple action that we're going to create now with a standard tool and in partnership, they just make um, a real killer combo. So we'll start off in the actions tab here, which is this triangle icon. And if you don't see it, go up to your window menu and you'll, you'll notice it at the top there. You can just check the option and it'll appear. I've purposely emptied out any actions I already had so I can show you what we're going to do from scratch. So go down to the bottom and click on this blank paper icon. And as you can see, it's created an action set and an action. The action set is basically just a folder to organize your actions and you can rename it to whatever seems appropriate for you. And this action is going to be based around content aware fill. So I'm just going to name it um, content aware fill. So how content aware fill works normally, if you're not familiar, is You'd have an image like this and you would draw a selection on an object you want it to try and remove. And this is photo P sort of trying to intelligently figure out what it should be replaced with. So if you go to the fill menu, which you can access by going either edit fill or the shortcut is shift F5. Just do that again, shift F5. And from the fill option here, you can choose content aware. And if I press OK, it'll take a little while because it's quite processor intensive. You'll see it's done a pretty good job, actually, of just removing what it thinks or replacing what it thinks was behind that man's head with texture. So it's put some trees and things like that. Now, that's quite a laborious task to go through every time you want to use a little content aware fill, especially if it's on a small area. So I'm going to undo that and just get back. So what we're going to do here, now we've got our content aware fill, our blank action here. I'm going to actually record the action. But first off, I'm just going to make, press L for your lasso tool and just make a any selection. It literally doesn't matter. And we need to record the action from here and not without a selection. So you need to have a live selection um, before you record and then we'll just click record and I'll go shift F5 again make sure it's on content aware fill so the first step of this action now it's recording the process I'm doing so the first thing it's recorded is whatever I have selected apply content aware fill and now without doing anything else I'm going to hold control or command and press D to deselect and you can see that's been recorded in the action as well. And then I'm just going to click stop. So the action is literally that simple, just two steps. And let's just test it. If I just get a lasso tool here and just draw around his head, all I have to do now is click that button and um, it's processing the content aware fill. So you don't have to go through menus and, you know, or in and out of things like that. We've made it super quick. Now it's not done a brilliant job here, but um, that's not how we're going to tackle this anyway. So that's step one. And remember, if you click this button in the bottom right corner here of the actions palette, you can save your actions and you can see mine saved at the bottom as an ATN file. Just do this and drag it to your desktop or put it somewhere safe because um, Photopia has a tendency to lose its actions and things like that. And so you'll always have it to load back in. So what I'm going to do is press J and actually, I'm going to go over to the menu because J is the shortcut for the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, patch tool, etc, etc. For this, I want the patch tool. So just scroll to that and choose the patch tool. So what the patch tool does, if you're not familiar with this particular tool, you just draw an area again, a little bit like we we're doing the content aware and it has to be on a pixel layer. And now you drag this, drag your mouse or your tablet pen and you can see the area it's trying to fill in. And now you let go and it will try to intelligently fill it in 
but from the targeted area you've given so it tries to blend in the colors and the tones and things like that so the difference between that and content aware fill is with the patch tool you are choosing which area you want to replace that with or which part of the texture and then let go and see how it does content aware fill it tries to decide for itself photop tries to decide what it should be replaced with now the beauty about this is when we're on the patch tool it's effectively a selection before you start dragging so we could use that selection for either the content aware fill or the patch tool itself and this is why this is such a powerful combination so if i zoom in a little bit so you could either start trying to content aware fill basically the workflow here is i always try content aware fill first in areas and we can just do this super quick with the action and then if it gives you a result that you're really not happy with just press Control or command z undo and then without having to change anything you can go around because you're already on the patch tool you can just simply drag to try and see if you get a better result with the patch tool and you just keep going like this so you don't need to change tools Try content aware fill. Always worth trying content aware fill first because um, when it works, it works really well. So, as you can see here, content aware fill is working really well on these kind of organic, repetitious backgrounds. It tends to handle these quite well. I mean, it's not perfect, but we're just going to work in sort of broad strokes at this point. I'll go down to this foot. This might be. Be a little bit tricky but we'll see what content aware does you can see what i mean we're just flying through this super quick there's no cloning no healing brush tool or anything like that we're not using anything of that nature at the moment we're just going around with our content aware fill and our um, um sorry our patch tool so now like this area i'm not going to bother content aware filling that but with the same tool live i can just do that drag it to the side and just see what kind of result we get. We've got a little bit of a glitch there, and then we can drag it to the side with the patch tool, align the edges, and let go. And you can just do this over and over again. Um, I mean, if you want to quickly get out the clone stamp tool, then wrong area, then obviously just quickly do that. There's no point in in sort of persisting with a technique that's not getting you the result you want for a few minutes just because you're sort of in the zone of using that. But this is some smaller details now. I'll try the patch tool on that. And what I might do down here actually is just select quite a big portion of that and just see what the content aware feel gives me. No, I don't like that. So command or control Z to undo. Let's just try and fill it with something from over here. And you get the idea. We might even get try and get rid of this crack here. A bit distracting, maybe. Let me zoom out and let's take a look at the actual background where it's filled in. Is there anything else that we don't like? There's a pit at the side here, which is to the right hand side, which is just where we tested. I, I tested the tool to start with, but you can go in now and refine it, obviously, with whatever you like. And if you find any point that your tool has come away from the patch tool, then because it's the last thing you had on this menu live, then you can just literally press J to get back to it. So if I've gone to the brush tool accidentally, just press J and I'm straight back into the um, straight back into the patch tool.